but you've got to keep on. Yes, Lord. Pray. You may have become weary and exhausted, but just keep on. I want you to know that your breakthrough is just around the corner. And not only do God see and hear, but God also responds and protects his children. Have I got a witness here? Because Peter says uh, that uh, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. This warning in blind, yes, a drastic threat. Have I got a witness in here? And it implies imminent judgment. And not just God's disapproval. In other words, when someone comes against a child of God, God not only disapproves, but God takes action. Get on your feet again. Therefore, believers are not to retaliate because God will handle your enemy. Yes, Lord, instead we must trust God and be willing to serve him instead of fighting one another. Have I got a witness here? You have to learn how to keep your mind on Jesus. Stop worrying about what others got to say. Stop worrying uh, how others feel. Have I got a witness here? Because as long as you're trying to do right, evil is on every hand. Uh, well, I got a witness here. And whenever you try to serve God, the devil is always trying to block your progress. Whenever you yield yourself to God, whenever you commit yourself to ministry, and whenever you commit yourself to trying to do better, here comes Satan trying to block your progress. Have I got a witness here? And oh, isn't it amazing how when you try to work in church, that's when folks start talking. Y'all didn't say nothing. As long as you're sitting and not doing anything, nobody ain't got nothing to say. But as soon as you get up and try to start working in the church, somebody else has a problem with what you are trying to do. Have I got a witness here? But I want to encourage somebody in here who has a made of mind that you're going to serve the Lord. Don't you worry about what people say about you. Go ahead and serve him anyhow. Have I got a witness? Because they didn't wake you up this morning. They didn't bless your life. They didn't give you the activities of your limb. And I made up in my mind that I'm going to serve the Lord. Why? I'm glad you asked because the Lord has been too good to me. The Lord has done too many things for me. And I, I've just decided that it does not matter what happened from day to day. My heavenly Father watches over me. I'm going to go ahead and worship him. I'm going to go ahead and serve him because his eyes, they are open. Have I got a witness? And with his ears, he can hear me when I call him. 
uh, is it anybody here uh, you made up your mind uh, in this year uh, you gonna serve the Lord uh, is it anybody here uh, you made up in your mind uh, this year uh, I'm gonna do more for him uh, is there anybody in here uh, you made up in your mind uh, this year uh, I'm gonna do more uh, and more because God has blessed me more than what I really deserve. Have I got a witness? Every time I go to the kitchen, there's food in the pantry. Every time I go to the closet, there are clothes to wear. I thank God I got a roof over my head. Family's doing fine. And since the Lord has kept the death angel out of my house since the Lord has been watching over me I've decided I'm gonna give God my all is it anybody here since we are here this morning got your mind made up that I've come to church not to talk about nobody but I'm here to give God praise is it anybody here you come to worship her. Is it anybody here feel like giving God praise? I'm out of here now. And may the Lord bless you real good. But can I bother you just one time? Turn, turn to your neighbor. Look your neighbor in the eye and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't know what you've been going through, but can I tell you one thing? Hold on, because help is on the way. Oh, hold on, your breakthrough is on the way. Oh, hold on, your miracle is on the way. Hold on, because God to leave you where you are and since you are here you might as well give God praise since you are here you might as well tell God thank you Lord since you are here you might as well lift your hands and give God praise since you are here you might as well tell the Lord thank you 